Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can use the Casio range of calculators to quickly work out an estimate for the mean when it comes in a grouped frequency table. And to do this I've got this example here where we've got the time spent in hours for a group of workers to travel to work is summarized in the table below. And we've got to calculate then the estimated mean time taken by the workers to get to work. Now I'm assuming that you've got some basic understanding of how you calculate something like this just manually. What we need to do is fill in this column here because we've got groups here with the midpoint of each of these class intervals. So we'd have another column then where we've got the midpoint. The midpoint which I'm going to call x. And for this class interval the midpoint would be 0.5. So just put 0.5 in here. And between 1 and 2 the midpoint here would be 1.5. And between 2 and 2.5 it would be 2.25. Now I've kept this table small just so that I can demonstrate this idea quickly but obviously this is going to be an advantage when you've got much bigger tables. So what we need to do is make sure now that our calculator is in statistics mode. At the moment you can see this is in maths mode. So to get in the statistics mode we press the mode button here and maths mode tends to be this one here number one computational okay we need to get in stats mode so we need to press two so if we do that you get presented with this menu here now what we're dealing with is one variable statistics up here so we need to select one so if I hit one you see that we get this table now where we've got x which is the equivalent of our values down here the midpoints but what we haven't got is a frequency column and it could be that when you do this on your calculator you do have a frequency column showing if if you don't what you've got to do is to go to setup so for this calculator We'll just clear this off. We go to Shift, Setup, and then by pressing the next menu down, okay, we see that we get number three. This is the setup for the stats. So if I press three, you can see that we've got frequency as either on or off. It was off when I showed you the earlier screen. So now we're just going to switch it on so press 1 there. So let's just imagine that we were back in the maths mode okay we'll put it back into the maths mode which is mode 1 and so if we're starting again we select the stats mode okay by pressing the mode button stats mode is 2 select one variable by pressing 1 and this time you can see that we've got a frequency column. So that's what you do if you don't have a frequency column. Now we need to enter our values. So in this column x we're entering the midpoints here. So we start by just entering the first one 0 0.5. We'll put 0 0.5 and then you just press equals. And you can see the cursor automatically moves down this column. So I'm going to type in the next one 1.5 press equals again and the cursor will move down. Next up is 2.25 so 2.25 press equals and that's entered and it's moved down to row 4. There isn't another row but obviously we would carry on for as many rows as we had. But when we're finished we now need to move the cursor across into the frequency column so I'll move it across and then back up to the top. So we're at the top here and we now start entering the frequencies so we've got 3 here 
So put 3 in equals, cursor moves down, now the frequency column. Next up is 12, so put 12 in equals, and finally the 5, and press equals. I can scroll back upwards if I want at this stage, and you can see that we've got our table here. And it's worth just checking to see that you've got the correct values entered. So we need to work out then the estimated mean. And to do this, we'll just clear this away, press AC, and we go to the stats function here. So to do that, we have to press shift and then the one to operate it. And you're presented then with this menu here. I'll take you through a couple of these items in a moment, okay? But how do we calculate the estimated mean? Well, the estimated mean, let's just put it in here. Okay, estimated mean. On this calculator, it's got a special symbol. And that symbol is X with a little bar over the top. And the estimated mean, if we were normally calculating it, would be to multiply the midpoints with the frequencies, repeat that all the way down, and then total it to do, in other words, the sum of the x values, the midpoints, times the frequencies, sigma xf. And we would want to divide this by the sum of all the frequencies. So we would divide that normally by the sum, sigma, okay, of all the frequencies. But the calculator doesn't have these symbols in it. What it has is instead of sigma xf, it just represents that sum as sigma x. And instead of having sigma f, it just has n. So to get these values, the sum of x, we go to the sum function here. If we press 3, you'll see we've got sigma x. So that's under 2, so if we press 2, sigma x, it's not 0, we need to press equals. And you can see 30.75. So this equals 30.75. So that's the result of doing 0.5 times 3 plus 1.5 times 12 plus 2.25 times 5. You can check it out if you like. And then we need to divide this by n, the total frequency here. Now you can see it doesn't take much adding up that this comes to 20. But just imagine what it would be like if you had a big column of figures. Now we can get that total n just by simply clearing this and going back to the statistics, that shift 1, and we look under 4 variables. Okay, so if we hit 4, we're presented with quite a few variables here. Now, n is under number 1, so if we press 1, it's not naught, obviously. We need to press equals, and you can see it's 20. Okay, so we've got 20 there. So we just need to do this division here. And you could do this division quite easily, either on the calculator just directly. You could do 30.75 divided by the 20 and then equals, and you're going to get 1.5375. Let me just write it in here first, okay? 1.5375. But you might not want to do that calculation. You might want to get the mean x bar directly. Well, that's easy. All we've got to do is say, just clear this. If you go to shift and into the statistics mode there, you can see under 4 we've got variables, hit the 4, and for 2 you've got x bar. So if I hit 2 here, the mean isn't 0, but by pressing equals 
there you go 1.5375 so you could if you wanted to just quote the estimated mean x bar directly just by going to that function okay well i hope that's given you some idea then how we can use this calculator to simplify the process then of working out the mean for a set of group data